Here are some ratio problems that are a little bit more involved. The ratio of pigs to cows to sheep on the farm is 2 to 4 to 7. There are 65 more sheep than pigs. How many cows are there on the farm? So I can see in the situation that I'm going to be talking about pigs and cows and sheep. So pigs, cows, sheep. And I see here the ratio of pigs to cows to sheep. So start with one unit each and then adjust that so that that relationship works. So the pigs are two, cows are going to be four. And sheep will be seven. So we use that. There are 65 more sheep than pigs. All right. Well, looking at pigs, they are two units and the sheep are seven. So if I were to draw a line right here, this would be the number of units of sheep that are more than pigs. That's 65 sheep. So I want to do 65 divided by 5 to find out what is in each one of those units. So 10 times 5 is 50. 15. Each unit is 13. And the question asks me, how many cows are there on the farm? Well, if each one of these units is 13, four of those units is cows. So I want to do three times, or four times 13. That, I know from a deck of cards, is 52. So there are 52 cows. Let's take a look at another problem. Archimedes, Hypatia, and Zeno shared a sum of money. Archimedes received one-sixth of the money. Hypatia and Zeno shared the rest of the money in the, relation, in the ratio of two to three. Zeno got seven dollars more than Hypatia. How much money did they share altogether? Well, it looks like there's a lot going on in this problem, but if we take it one step at a time, we can slowly build up our bar model and get a little bit better idea of what's going on. So who's in the problem? Well, Archimedes. Hypatia and Zeno. And I'll begin as usual by giving one unit to each one of them. Archimedes, it says, received one sixth of the money. Well, if I use that piece of information, what I know is that Archimedes has one unit. If that's one sixth, then using a little bit of logic, that tells me, and I'm just drawing this off here. If Archimedes got one sixth, then that means that there are five sixths left to go to the other two. We have some information about how to split that up. Hypatia and Zeno shared the rest of the money in the ratio of two to three. Well, that's pretty easy to do because in this case I've got just five units, two and three. So Hypatia gets two and Zeno gets three. Right, so we've used that piece of information. Zeno got $7 more than Hypatia. Well, right here is the extra that Zeno has more than what Hypatia has. That's got to be $7. That tells us that each one of these units is $7. How much money did they share all together? 
there are six units. Six times seven equals forty-two dollars. And our last problem here. One third of Elmer's age is the same as two fifths of Sam's age. This looks like it might be kind of an involved problem. But if we take it one step at a time, the bar model really helps us see what's going on. So I'll begin, as usual, by giving each one of these people one unit. Now I'll start to bring some of the information into the problem. One third of Elmer's age. Well, I look at this bar right here, and my first thought is, this is going to be kind of small if I want to show just one third. So I'm going to make this be a bigger bar. And then I'm going to color in one third. So one third of Elmer's age is the same as two fifths of Sam's age. So this one third, this is the same as that one third. But I need this to be equal to two-fifths of Sam's age. So that means that two of those would be the same as one of those. So another two of these would be the same as one of Elmer's. And then not two, but one more, a half of that, to make that be five. So now two-fifths, this is two-fifths of Sam's age, and this is one-third of Elmer's age. So now I've got a bar model that shows that, all that information. It says Elmer is five years older than Sam. How old is Sam? Well, in order to solve problems using bar models, we need to have the units be the same size. Here I've got smaller units than what I've got up here, but I do know that two of these is equal to one of those. So I'm going to cut these in half. So they're all equal to the same amount. Elmer now has just one more of the equal size units, and he's five years older, so five years has to go here. If that's five years, I want to know how old Sam is. That tells me that there's five in each one of these units. Five times five is 25. So how old is Sam? He's 25 years old.